guys, this is John with Walkthrough.js. Uh, today we're going to be talking about building an Angular app with Webpack and TypeScript. Uh, let's go ahead and just get started. So here we're going to look at the packet, package.json file. Uh, we're going to be installing Angular in Angular UI Router. Uh, as well, we're going to be installing, since we're using TypeScript, we need to use types. So we'll use Angular types, UI Router types, Node types, which is going to take care of the uh, require um, on the app.ts file, uh, the TS loader for Webpack, TypeScript, uh, and Webpack. You can actually use Webpack dev server along with that. Uh, personally, I've found that using Webpack uh, W and live server works fine for me. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, looking at the Webpack config file, here we're going to just uh, have a context in the main directory. We're going to have an entry of app.ts. We're going to put bundle.js when it outputs just in the main directory. Uh, we're going to resolve the .ts and .js files. And for loaders, like we mentioned earlier, we're going to use the ts loader uh, that's going to search for .ts extensions. Uh, we also have a ts config.json JSON file that has a bunch of compiler options. Um, and I'll have all of this for you guys in uh, a repo that I'll link in the description below. Uh, so looking at the index.html file, let's just take a look here. Really, there's nothing major going on here. Note that we don't have any Angular or app.ts, js, whatever files here. All we need here is a bundle.js file. It's just a simple, uh, a simple main controller as VM. So we are using controller as syntax, which is something that you do with because we're going to be using classes. Uh, and as well, we're just using vm.something and the outputs vm.something that I apparently didn't catch the first time around, which is fine. So let's go ahead and go to, uh, let's go ahead and npm install everything. Uh, so let's just say npm install, and that'll go ahead and install everything. Let's go over to app.ts. Um, in our app.ts, since we are putting the Angular script tag in the index page. Here we are going to be uh, requiring it and just uh, giving angular.module access to it in that way. Um, we are also going to be creating controller here. So we'll say app.controller and we'll call that main control. And instead of putting just that function or declaring a function below, all we're going to have to do now is just require that. So let's just assume that we're going to call it main control. And then we're going to include it up here because we actually do have a main control file here. So let's go back to app.ts and import main control from dot slash main control dot ts and we actually don't have to um, put the file extension because it already know obviously it's giving us a red line because we haven't created it yet so let's go ahead and create it really quick so let's say export default class main control And then let's say static, you know what? Yeah, let's just put it anyway. Static inject uh, array string. We'll talk about what this is here in a minute equals an empty array. Um, essentially what this is, is anything that you're gonna inject uh, services, um, scope, uh, the HTTP module or service, anything to that effect. Um, and then below here, we're going to have a constructor. Um, and that's essentially everything that's required um, within this. Since we're not injecting anything, we don't have to put anything inside the constructor yet. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll probably create a service and uh, inject that in there somehow. Uh, but in this case, let's just create um, 
let's make something pop up on the front page here. So let's uh, let's create a, a, de a declare a variable called something, and we're just going to make it a string. And then inside of the constructor to access that variable, all we have to do is say this dot something, and this is the beauty of TypeScript. The autocomplete in the IntelliSense is phenomenal. So let's say this dot something equals hello. So that's pretty much all we have to do. So let's go down here. Actually, let's go back to, so an explanation, uh, let's do npm start, npm start, which will turn on a webpack for us. And it also should output that bundle.js file, which is great. Um, let's save this. Notice we don't have any red squiggly lines because everybody knows what's going on. Let's go over to another one and say live-server. And let's see if we can make something work. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So here, we just have hello meetup. We have something with a box of hello in it. And this is tied just like it would be with any other, um, with just the previous ways that we would build TypeScript or build Angular. Um, I think that's it for this video. If you have any questions, definitely comment in the area below. Like I said, I'm going to be putting this inside of a repo uh, so you guys can clone this and use this to uh, however you would like. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.